Maca's guides. <laughs> Hey guys, Maca here, playing Gears 5, and in this video, I'm going to show you exactly where you can find all 17 of the Relic weapons in the campaign. Now, for those wondering, a Relic weapon is a special variant of a normal weapon that is usually better in some way and also has a special skin to it. There are a couple of reasons you may want to grab some of these Relic weapons during a playthrough. One of them is obviously that these weapons are going to be better than the default variant of that same weapon. So it could make your playthrough a little bit easier if you're playing on a harder difficulty. They're also very fun to use in certain cases. And there's also some achievements tied to them. You'll get an achievement for getting a kill with every relic weapon. As well as an achievement if you have a relic weapon in every slot of your inventory. Relic weapons can be found during Act 2 and Act 3 in the open world section, so let's just get started with the locations. The first relic weapon you can find is the Enforcer. As you enter the kind of open world area in Act 2, you'll hop off your skiff in order to go to a light switch. You'll notice a Crimson Omen to your left, which is an indicator of a nearby relic weapon, and you can pick it up before dropping down. For this Enforcer, it'll fire a little bit slower, but do more damage, which is actually a really great trade-off for this weapon. Next up, we have one of my absolute favorites, which is the Long Shot Relic, a gun that I basically carried with me through the entirety of Act 2. You can find it in a red boathouse on the frozen lake in one of the first areas you'll go to during Chapter 2 of Act 2. Go inside and pick it up. The thing that makes this weapon unique is the fact that you can actually fire two bullets on a perfect reload. And those bullets will only take up one of your actual ammo. So I'll show you how that works. I get an active reload and then I'm able to shoot twice without having to use two bullets. This is exceptionally useful if you're good at getting headshots and if you like to keep range from your enemies. We go from one great relic weapon to another and this one is gonna be accessible in act two but only once you reach chapter four and head through the gate. You can see exactly where I am on the map. This is the retro Lancer relic found on a rock not far after going through that gate. And once you pick this weapon up, you will find out what its crazy ability is. And that is that all of the rounds that come out of this gun are explosive and will blow up in the air in order to hit enemies. And these bullets are extremely powerful since they are little explosives. You can basically three to five hit a lot of the enemies if you hit them directly, but you're not going to be one-shotting them by any means. Next up, we have a weapon that I thought would be really cool, but personally for me was a really big disappointment, unfortunately, in Chapter 4 of Act 2, near the abandoned mines, before going into this side mission. As you enter through the gate, you can go up the path to the right-hand side in order to find the Torque Bow Relic. Now, this variant of the Torque Bow basically fires non-explosive rounds, that can basically headshot enemies quite easily as long as you have the aim. The draw time of this Torque Bow variant is also a decent amount quicker than normal. Next up, we have a weapon that could be extremely useful in a run on Insane, and that is the Boltok Relic. The Boltok is by far the best pistol in the game, in my opinion, and extremely useful on Insane when you do run out of ammo on your primaries. It can be found just north of the Condor Crash, near the center of the east area. You'll drive under and find the Crimson Omen. Additionally, when you pick up this Boltok, you might unlock an achievement here if you do have a Relic in your primary, secondary, and pistol slot at the same time. 
and the variant of this bolt talk allows you to weapon handle faster so you can bring it up and aim faster and it also fires from the hip better although i don't know why you'd ever want to do that Then we can get the drop shot relic, which I think is very unique, although maybe a little bit limited in its functionality because it doesn't have too many great uses, and that is the drop shot relic. It can be found near this iceberg in the kind of northeast part of the frozen lake, and there's a small little path on this iceberg that lets you kind of get in between some boulders. You'll notice that Crimson Omen again here, as it is in every location. And then when you grab this drop shot, the variant allows you to basically freeze enemies with a round of cryo instead of an explosive round. However, I found that when I used this, most of the enemies would freeze but not die. So I'd have to freeze them and then change my gun or hit them again in order for it to work. For some reason, I'm hitting a small invisible wall here. So let me just kind of move forward and you can take a listen. Last but not least, for Act 2, we have the Boomshot Relic found in the north of the map, not far from where you enter for the North Communications Tower. As you enter, you'll want to work your way to the right-hand side of the path towards the substation. As you enter the substation, you'll see kind of two generators on the right-hand side with that note of the Crimson Omen on one of them. Behind them, you can find the Boomshot Relic, which looks very cool and can be quite useful. In this variant, the Boomshot holds three rounds of ammo in one reload. So you can basically just fire it three times without having to reload. This can be great for taking down really big enemies that have a lot of health, but it also makes you burn through that ammo a lot faster. We've now moved on to Act 3, and these are kind of scattered all over. I'll show you that we're pretty close to the abandoned airport at the beginning of the area. And there will be three hangars near where you spawn, but just past those hangars, there are three more hangars. So I'll kind of show you where the airport is behind us. And those are the three hangars where you start. There's a set of three extra hangars that are labeled 1, 2, 3. The first one will have a nice Crimson Omen on it, and it'll have the Talon weapon. This is a pretty good pistol that is a lot more steady and does a lot more damage after an active reload. So I'll show you kind of the difference between an active and non-active reload for this. Next up, we have every Gears fan's favorite weapon, the Nasher Relic, found in Act 3 near the very beginning. And this one can be found kind of near the north border as the map starts to open up. A special thanks to James Frew or Wookie Gaming on Twitter for helping me with this location as I was stuck finding my last Relic weapon for almost a day and a half. Additionally, shout out to Loveboat Gopher for helping me out with these in general. The Nasher Relic variant basically allows you to shoot a slug instead of the regular shotgun spread. This sounds really good but doesn't work in action as well as you would hope as the slug doesn't have much distance on it and doesn't do as much damage as you would hope. You can pop off some heads if you try hard enough and have the aim though. Next up, as you make your way through the desert, you'll kind of come into this open area with a couple of domed buildings. You'll see exactly where I am on the map. But the one that is the lowest and closest to your objective, if you're working your way through the desert, has a small Crimson Omen on it. And this turns one of the worst guns in the game to one of the best guns in the game, kind of. 
that is the claw relic where after an active reload the gun actually handles extremely well and basically fires in perfect straight lines right away it also does a heck of a lot of damage so i'd actually kind of recommend this one as long as you are only getting active reloads We'll now move on to the kind of north pump station, and I'll show you on the map exactly where we are. We're not far from the rocket hangar here, and before going in or after coming out or whenever you want to, just outside of this area there is a car park of some abandoned cars, and here we can find the relic for the Marksa, and this one really made me scratch my head. The Marksa is a long range gun, and this variant allows you to shoot at full auto, which sounds great, but the gun doesn't carry much ammo, and it's not that great to shoot at a distance in full auto. However, if this tickles your pickle, go for it. We'll now move on to the Hammer Burst Relic, which can be found in this location of the map, not far from what I believe are the City Ruins. This is a nomad area. And just a little bit to the east of them, if you were to exit, you can find this kind of small extra building with that notable Crimson Omen on it. And in this Hammer Burst variant, every time you fire it, as long as you remain down sights, you will shoot more bullets. So you'll start with like two bullets, and then shoot four, and six, and eight. And by the end of the clip, you actually get almost half the clip out in one pull of the trigger, as long as you remain aiming down sights and you are actively shooting. This can be useful to do a lot of damage at a time, but its unpredictability makes it not the best weapon in my opinion. For number 13 in this video, we're going to get the Lancer Grenade Launcher Relic Variant. The Lancer Grenade Launcher is a phenomenal gun. The Relic doesn't really change enough about it to make this Relic one of the best in the game. You can find it between the first water station and the Cosmonaut uh, facility. Instead of going up the ramp to the Cosmonaut facility, stay on the lower ground and go behind this big rock to find these pillars that are kind of holding up the mountain. Feel free to use the ping of Jack if you want to be able to locate this one more easily. But on the middle pillar, you should be able to find this weapon. In this variant, the grenade launching ability fires straight at the enemy and then bursts in their face instead of firing similar to a mortar strike. Then we can move on to the Snub Relic. This one is found not far from the Rocket Hangar, just a little bit southeast of it if you follow the cliff line towards the uh, train bridge and the train controls, or the bridge controls. And you can find it, I'm going to kind of do a little bit of a 360 here just because it can be a little bit hard to orientate yourself. You should be able to find the Crimson Omen kind of tucked away in between some of these pillars. And you can pick up the Snub on a rock. This variant allows us to shoot two bullets at a time, and you get to shoot both of those bullets with very good accuracy, so you can kind of double your damage. However, I don't think the snub's an overall great weapon. This can be somewhat fun to use. For the 15th Relic Weapon in this video, I'm going to show you the Overkill, personally one of my favorites, but I did play on a lower difficulty. If you're playing on Insane, this one's not great because you kind of have to get up close and personal with the enemies. It can be found uh, where I just showed on the map, not far from the bridge controls, I believe. And this allows the Overkill to be a 
automatic firing weapon. So you just hold down that trigger and you can go through all of the ammo very quickly. If you do fight an enemy with a lot of health, it will absolutely destroy them as long as you have the ammo. Shit! We got company! Take him out! Next up, we are going to do the regular Lancer Relic. This one can be found not far from the cargo shipwreck side mission as you work your way down the map in the desert here. If you go to the south side of the cargo ship, you might recognize that Crimson Omen just over there. And this weapon's unique ability is that it has a special type of melee attack that's supposed to stun enemies and then open them up for either a chainsaw or another melee and or an execution. But in my experience, I actually tried this on a couple of enemies. It actually didn't work on the rejects for some reason, so it might work on some and not work on some enemies, but you can experiment. Last, but certainly not least, is the Embar Relic found near the Fallen Condor that is not far from the turntable. You'll find it at the tail of the Condor, kind of separated from the rest of the crash. And this variant of the Embar is kind of cool. It has a really long charge up, but does a lot of damage. That sounds really useful, but an Embar is usually a one-hit headshot kill anyways. So getting the extra damage doesn't really benefit you all that much. If you do have all 17 of the Relic weapons now, you might want to try to get a kill with all of them in order to grab your achievement Relics of the past. Also, you've hopefully been storing some of these for some cool screenshots and whatnot. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe, share this video with a friend. Check out my other Gears 5 videos. Shout out to everyone on Patreon for supporting the show. A special thanks to Double O, as well as Wookie Gaming on Twitter for helping me out. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.